Hey, I'm going to show you how to make a course inside Kajabi. You're going to go over to the products tab, hit new product. That's going to take you here and you're going to hit course. Turn your knowledge into a world-class learning experience. Build a course that helps you connect with your audience and grow your business. By the way, if you're just joining me, this is actually day 20 of a series that I'm doing called Your First 30 Days on Kajabi, where I'm walking you through everything that you need to do step-by-step step every single day to get started on Kajabi. If you're not already on Kajabi, be sure to use my link, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. When you do that, you get three exclusive bonuses that are all pretty amazing, a free course, a free masterclass, and a free launch template. All of that is yours to say thank you for using my link, plus the 30-day free trial, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. Yesterday, in day 19, I walked you through how to plan for building your mini course. So at this point, if you haven't seen day 19, go watch it, it is foundational to this lesson. It will make this make much more sense. In today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how to to take the planning that we've done and actually put it inside Kajabi. So we're gonna go to course, we're gonna hit get started. We'll use your title and description to generate a sample course outline. So I'm gonna do uh, my fitness example. If you don't know what I'm talking about yesterday in the video, we talked about this escape arrival paradigm when you're planning a course. And we said, if we wanna lose 15 pounds and keep that 15 pounds off, how do we do it? So I might say 15 uh, pounds, 15 pounds forever. Okay. That's maybe probably, probably not the best title, but how to lose 15, how to lose your last 15 LBS and keep it off for life, for life, for life. Use this info to generate content and add additional resources. I'm going to I'm going to keep that toggled on so you can see what that is going to do. Hit next. Customize your course's appearance, the primary branding for your course displayed at checkout and throughout the member experience. So the primary color is going to be my orange, the accent color is going to be this color blue, thumbnail image, <clears throat> choose a thumbnail. Let me see if it makes me do that. It doesn't. Okay. So to price my course, choose whether this course is paid or free. If it's paid, set its price and payment option. Don't worry, you can change this later. One of the things I always talk about is Kajabi does not keep the product attached to the price. The product can be anything you want it to be in terms of price because you just put it with an offer and sell it for whatever you want. For example, let's say that I build this 15, you know, lose 15 pounds forever mini course and I want to price it most of the time at 97 bucks, which is a great price for a mini course. So I price it at $97, but then down the road, I'm like, I wanna do a Black Friday sale for in November, and I wanna sell this course for 67 as a part of that offer. Well, I can just make an offer for Black Friday for 67 bucks, put this course in it, and now all of a sudden this course is selling for not 97, but now 67. So you can do it however you want, but, it does have you uh, put the, the paid uh, option in there. It says offer Apple Pay and Google Pay connect to cut Kajabi payments to offer your customers even more ways to pay. Now I am connected in my main sites over at Preaching Donkey and over at Lane Sebring. This is a sample website that I'm using with Kajabi and so I'm not connected here. So I'm gonna actually hit skip for now in terms of setting the payment, but I will take you over and show you inside of my own course how it looks when you set the payment. So initializing the creation wizard, it was doing a little work there, AI style to get us a sample outline. So what it's done here is it has given us a sample outline with um, some modules and uh, some, you know, kind of just giving us a framework. Now, if you were with me yesterday and you saw that video, you have already made your own framework. So this is not something that you may need to do and you can toggle that off and not have them do that. But I do find it helpful to look at what they've come up with and see what you can do from there. Now up here, I can hit expand all and it's gonna build out, it's gonna expand out all of 
the different modules. So in the first module, it just says understanding weight loss. By the way, these bolded things are modules. So in, in the escape arrival paradigm, when you came up with those milestones, those milestones turn into modules, all right? Or lessons. In this case, we're looking at modules and under that there might be, you know, some lessons and this can still be a mini course. If we cl click on this, this is the individual lesson. So the science behind weight loss and it already gave it a title. Again, I can go in here and I can change this to anything I want. I can change it to the art of weight loss. All right. It doesn't have to be exactly what they put. They just give you a place, uh, a place to start. So I'm gonna actually just go back to what they had. So title goes there, it's in this module. Down here is the description. I like to do a lot of things in the description. I like to have a little bit of a reinforcement of what is actually in that lesson. And I like to put links to whatever resources uh, that there might be. The video, you can add video here. You just pick a file, upload it straight from your computer. Audio, you can do an audio file straight from there. You can have a thumbnail for your lesson. I make all my thumbnails in uh, Canva. And then you can actually do downloads. I think this is really important. Downloads are one of the things that help to set a course apart from like normal content that just is found for free on YouTube. This is one of the questions that a lot of people ask. They're like, well, if I have a YouTube channel and I'm making content there, what's different about my course? And there's a few things that are different. The main thing that's different is that a course provides a clear path. A course provides an aggregation of all this information that they could get somewhere else, but they would have to do the research themselves. They would have to do the aggregation and the curating themselves. You are saving them all that time and all that effort and putting it into a logical, clear path that they can follow. But part of what makes it even more valuable is when you kind of add layers of resources to it. So it's not just a video because they can get that video on YouTube. You can put together a playlist like this one, but it's also the downloads that go with it. So I like worksheets and action guides and one pages that help to supplement and complement the lesson itself. And by the way, if you wanna see how courses fit into the big picture of your online business, go to lanesebring.com slash workshop. This is my turn what you know into dough workshop where I'm gonna show you how to make your first $1,000 in passive income in your spare time with your online business, $1,000 a month. And you'll be able to find out exactly how all of the pieces of this online business world fit together from your content and your lead magnet, your email funnel, your offer, your courses, how all that kind of fits together, how it works to make you that first $1,000 a month consistently. That's over at lanesebring.com slash workshop. It's free. It's on demand. You can watch it right now. So this is the lesson side of things, and this is how you put everything together. You can set up an automation where like they watch this lesson and it sends them an email and says, hey, I saw that you just watched lesson two. What are you thinking? Or here's the next step you can take. Or would you wanna write me a testimonial? Whatever the case. So that's how the actual kind of lesson is built. Anytime you're building stuff out on Kajabi, you can always hit preview and you can always see uh, you know, what's going on. So this is where the video would be. This is where kind of the syllabus of the course would be. This is that description. And then people can add comments. I'm gonna take you inside one of my courses so you can kind of see how all this looks inside an actual course. So this is my course, Six Figure Fast Lane. This is kind of the welcome page of it. This is a uh, module inside the course. And then these are the lessons inside of that module. And so if we click on this one, here you're gonna see everything kind of laid out that we went through. There's the video, there's the syllabus of the course. Once it's complete, they hit complete or it automatically does it. Here's the downloads, it includes the worksheets. Here's the description that kind of is a compliment to it. And then there's comments down there. So. This is what the kind of end product of a course looks like. And by the way, if you wanna see what all this looks like, go to lanesebring.com slash fast lane. This course may be exactly what you need to catapult your business and replace your nine to five income with a thriving online business without hustle grind or having to build a large social media following because I didn't have to do any of that and I made a multiple six figure business. You can do the same, lanesebring.com slash fast lane. All right, now you are ready 
to build your course on Kajabi. Tomorrow, I'm gonna talk about launching your course because it's one thing to plan it, which we did yesterday. It's another thing to put the course into Kajabi. But then there's this whole question of like, how do I sell it? That's tomorrow. Be sure to be here for that. Join Kajabi if you haven't yet. Watch the workshop, see you tomorrow.